Hello, I'm Tom Ang. Welcome to this series in which I explore fascinating pages from my book, Photography, The Definitive Visual History. Kiss by the Hotel de Ville, Robert Doineau, 1950. Born in Paris, Robert Doineau spent a long and distinguished career photographing life in the streets of his native city. His approach and the secret to his success was, as he said, to walk and walk and then walk some more, immersing himself in the lives of the people he photographed. Nearly all of his best-known images are chance moments caught sur le vif on the hoof. A period of work with Vogue magazine was short-lived because Duano found he did not enjoy posing models. Now, in 1950, Life magazine commissioned him to photograph couples kissing around Paris for a feature on the capital of romance. Surprisingly, given his liking for candid shots, he decided to hire couples to pretend to kiss spontaneously. He later justified himself this way. I would never have dared to photograph people like that. Lovers kissing in the street? Those couples are really legitimate. The publication of Kiss by Hotel de Ville gave the world an icon of young love in Paris, which found its way onto postcards, calendars and posters. The identity of the couple, however, remained a mystery for years. In the 1980s, Duano met Jean and Denise Laverne, who thought they recognised themselves in the picture. Reluctant to shatter their dreams, Duano was non-committal, but his kindness proved ill-placed, as the couple then sued him for photographing them without permission. Duano was forced to reveal that the couple were in fact hired models Françoise Delbar and Jacques Cartou. But Delbar saw a chance and also sued Duano for earnings from the pictures. Fortunately, he had given her a signed print which fatally undermined her case. She later sold the picture at auction for a very handsome sum. But the litigation deeply shocked Duano. His daughter Annette said, We won in the courts, but the kiss ruined the last years of his life. By using a wide aperture on his road reflex, Duano keeps the focus on the couple. He locates the woman in the image so as to divide the left and right portions of the picture into harmonious proportions. Passers-by in the foreground and background frame the couple and place them in the context of stylish Parisian life. Duano's use of wide aperture throws the background buildings out of focus, which blurs details and blends tones. The combination of blur and pallor defines space through aerial perspective, again to frame the couple. The space in front of the couple is empty of people, but full of implied movement. This gives the couple room to move forward, suggesting the bustle of city life. 